when I create in the process, it feels like imagination freedom, <laughs> if that makes any sense, because you're in the zone. And when I'm in that zone, I just let whatever creative energies or muses, so to say, just lead and guide me. I think that, you know, when you just let go of the technical part, you're done with that part. Now you can get into the soul part of it. I just love how my mind just takes me to wherever it goes on the canvas and the paint just kind of does its thing and I just let it guide me. So it's very freeing, it's very liberating and it's a lot of fun. It gets messy for sure, but you know, th th there's a freedom in that too. Sometimes I'm just in the zone and someone may be talking to me and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's great. Okay, what did you say? <laughs> so maybe I'm not here, but I'm here. So I just kind of disappear for a little bit. The technical process of this is um, one, the colors. Right. So, you know, you have your color wheel and you want to make sure that your colors won't turn into mud or it doesn't turn gray or brown. And so you put your colors together. And then because this, this is all acrylic uh, paint with your acrylic paint, you need to extend the paint by making it fluid. You can use a blow dryer to blow it across the canvas. It's almost like a, a science in itself. Sometimes with your customers, they may not know exactly what they want. So I think that that's part of being an artist too, is to take something or take, you know, something from nothing and you create whatever your mind blooms into. And in turn, you learn a lot about yourself within those challenges and those roadblocks because it really pushes you to see how far you can really go. Carefully. I believe most art is almost like cooking, right? You use, everyone got the same spices, the same basis of the meal, but she throws things in. I'm like, wow, okay, maybe that might trigger something for me. A lot of times it's like, wow, I didn't think she was gonna, like she might get in a little jam and I'll be like, and I'll come back like maybe 15 minutes later and I'm completely wowed and overwhelmed by like, dang, she really got through that. I guess it's not just one thing that inspires me other than wanting to create something in this world where I can leave an imprint of my imagination, my creative and artistic abilities, and the perspective that people give me when they look at my art and what moves them kind of moves me in a sense as well. So it's kind of a full circle kind of thing.